All right, so step one, we need to clear all the data from the calculator. To do that on this model, we press shift mode three equals. Now we've just cleared all the data. The next step is to turn this calculator on to, to statistical mode. To do that, we press mode twice, and then we press one. Now our calculator is in statistical data mode. Once we're at this stage, we can enter our data. To do that, you type in the score and M plus score and M plus score and M plus. As you can see, that step only allows you to add one score at a time. For small scores, that's okay. For a large set of scores, that starts to get difficult. So what I'm about to teach you now is a way of entering a large set of scores. Before we do that, we need to clear the memory again. So I'm just going to go shift, clear, all again, equals. Now I've got to turn it back into stats mode. So mode, mode, one. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to enter this set of data into the calculator and find the mean and standard deviations from it. To do that, I'm going to enter so my, I'm going to enter the scores. The first score of 1 had a frequency of 7. So I enter the score shift comma so I've got my semicolon and then I enter the frequency 7 m+. Plus. As you can see now I've added 7 scores to the calculator. I go on and I do this for the rest of the data. Score 2 had a frequency of 6 m plus. 3 had a frequency of 3 m plus. 4 had a frequency of 2 m plus. 5 had a frequency of 3. Remembering each time you've got to put that semicolon between the score and the frequency. Here you can see n, which represents the total number of scores I've added, is 21. And if we look back at our total frequencies, so the sum of all frequencies, that was 21. So that means we've got all our data added. If that doesn't match your total frequencies, You've made a mistake somewhere, and you have to go back, delete all your data, and start again. That's the limitation of this model of calculator. Now that we've got all our data in, let's go ahead and figure out the mean. To figure out the mean, you press Shift, 2, and now we've got three options coming up here. Option 1 is the mean. Option 2 is the population standard deviation and option three is the sample standard deviation so we'll go through and use option one the mean and the mean of this data is that now to calculate the population standard deviation I press shift two and I'm going to select option two equals I'll use population standard deviation when my question includes information from everybody. If my question only includes, my data only comes from a sample of people, that's when I use sample standard deviation. And to do that, we press shift, two, three, equals, and there is my sample standard deviation.